utility to delay, but the full rotation hasn't come through just yet, and the space is starting to be taken. Redgar, though, already eliminated. Yeah, opening kills, fantastic. Hype out of utilities, a duelist now, and he goes down right away. That wall no longer in play. It's gonna hurt them a little bit, and the heal's coming through, just resetting all the damage that had just gone down. This attempted left. retake from OG London United is gonna be quick. The utility was already pulled into play, but they don't get a ton for it. Traded out one to one and a sneaky spot for Shados. That is huge. He's down and out of there with Nats covering his escape, and there's no chance, surely. A 25 HP feck you. And the second as well following. This is going to be a little bit dangerous hype. He's oh. being chased down, but he still gets one. He's bought a little bit of time at least. A couple of low players though on that OG side. So there's definite potential. Spike not yet being left. planted and not really in a position to do so. Hoping that maybe someone over faces takes an aggressive duel. But I'm more looking at Molsey. Still fragment online. You've got the paint shells as well. A seize. Like they've got everything to deny this plan. Yeah, and I think you've hit the nail on the head there because look at what Destrian's holding in his hand. He's got that seize ready to go and it's about to come on through. They were trying to bait it though. Very wise out of mech, but they can't quite get it done in time in terms of baiting that player out, getting him to swing, getting him dropped, and that spike's gonna go down. But with low HP and Nats tagged up by the nade, I, I don't know where you go from here. Shados has to have just an incredible performance. And with him gone, I think this is, uh, yeah. Yeah, they expect an outcome. <laughs> I've stuck around. Obviously, they're starting to second guess it now. 20 seconds on the clock, though. Mech have no choice. They've got to just spearhead through into this site. They found one on the way through, but 10 seconds left. They have to secure the site. And Nats is going to try his best. The show stopper in and almost a follow up. Indeed, there is one from Hype. And he's ran the clock all the way down at this point. No way for Shados to win. And he's executed before. You know, I, I thought you'd remember that forever. We got a snake bite coming in through to who? That's going to slow down the push perfectly, actually almost countering out the ultimates that Mech have just used, the utility they threw through. Now that information is no longer valid. They've been caught as well. A fantastic Han Chronicle through to the side. What? And he will find success this time, even pulling in the showstopper. That's keeping high space, but nobody really executed off of it. Even still, though, they managed to get back in. Now Nightfall thrown forward. You're going to have the Prowlers going out behind the Pajini still getting all the way back through half hp deathroom almost stunned up in the corner Ace. and he's just killing absolutely everyone destrium finally puts him in his place mech under a bit of pressure here on mid chronicle doesn't seem deterred but oh feck you is punished and they might want to go back for that control uh, they have a showstopper to clear the area and there's a weapon down so it's something that yeah. in the back of mech's mind has to linger but that that's something I, I have to note so far is in 1v1 duels i feel like Feku's actually dominating Chronicle so far. Oh, like, the, the way, especially when it's yeah, been in towards well, mid, I, I think he's won at least three of those duels early. He's going to take another one down. The man is on fire at the moment. He just ran all the way from Hookah right back around. Now sitting on A and he's got a showstopper. He's just... But he, he, I'm sorry, he went in the corner and I was like, oh, he's just going to sit there and run the clock down. And then he just swings and takes another kill. That is from the defensive side. Four players here ready and waiting for them. And again... Well, actually, no C's online, but Hype is just going to go swinging out, taking duels as Destrian falls. Finally, the showstopper comes into play. And Tom, there's only 20 seconds left. These players have to go. Someone needs to find some space. And Shados has just snuck oh. away with a kill. Even still, though, ah. the spike is held back. Fecky with the spam is going to be able to drop one more. And it is slowly making its way in. The Last problem pack. is there's Astro Utility down. It's going to pull him out of position. I don't done. know if he's going to be able to get it down. No, it's done. Just with delay utility alone, OG are going to win this round. They are playing such a big brain game at the moment. Not even needing to your next move. We're ready to react. And here's a big test. A bunch of utility going through without a follow-up. And Redgar's being caught on the way in. This looks disjointed. Oh, massively disjointed. The players at Hookah weren't even close to coming out. He tried to TP through a grab wall, hoping that they were maybe focused elsewhere. Nat has still managed to find Molsey though. Rotation already coming back through and boo. It's just you're seeing that there's a player there. No noise on site. This is clearly a retake setup, but there's a nade to delay. 30 seconds though. Time isn't the biggest of issues. They are trying to buy the time though instead to get these players closer to the site. And they're more able to help Molsey. Unfortunately, they're losing players by the second, trading them out on the back of it. Like your information's a little bit more vague on the defensive side, but that's looking at the comp, not looking at the team. Red. 
Eddie shot through the smoke is already going to manage to find one, and Nats has done the same. The two remaining players trying to cross into the side. They really need to clear JD. And I, I will admit, Chronicle is quite I far behind. Maybe because left. there is still the option for the teleporter. Flash is going to tell him they are still here, but he's very wary of this. It's probably also because of Redgar's hookah control. By being able to hold this position, it's going to make it so difficult for anybody to try and get a plant down. And OG, they're running out of time and need to clear this man. Oh, well, they have. They've taken Redguard down and seized the site. JD trying to sneak around the side. He needs to try and find something. And he has an angle if he only swung faster. But how could he know that? They're shielded from the nade, but they're not Ooh. shielded from JD. A triple kill. And the pistol goes to Mech. They have at least disabled his orb. On the way in, Nats still going to just hug the edge of this smoke. He's going to go through it. There's the flash to get him on in. Only one, but JD oh. again. He's opened it up for his teammates. And oh, but that was an execution. That control pretty quickly. And what they're ultimately dueling for is a distraction to allow Red Gar to come up behind and take that kill. No more post plan setup. OG London United now panicking, but they're finding kills. The defuse tapped. Someone has got to check that. In goes Malsi. Now he's caught on the way back out. The grab well had already cleared it, but they needed to double check it. The panic station's all around, but it looks like they might win off the clock alone. They've got this one done just about across the line. <laughs> Redgar go way back. We're uh, very close. We're very close indeed. Oh, that flash going through. Oh, no. <laughs> well, they've cut this push into pretty easily. Yeah, they've got to try and clear these guys as well. They've been hit by the nightfall, caught by the nade. Paranoia, not even going to connect. It doesn't matter, though. Every single battle, every single duel being won by Mech. And I, I, Eighty, just... Oh, yeah, it's just JD, just one guy. And then, obviously, on the other side, Nats, uh, some noob. And actually, they've just dealt with him very easily. JD, around the edge of the Viper's Pit. Going to go right onto his teammate's body. Oh. And all right, he can see through smokes, what? and he's turned around for another. Come on, man. This is just ridiculous. There's 10 seconds left. They need to plan. They've been showstoppered. And now when they try to get back in, there's just players everywhere. Hype with an ambitious attempt, but ultimately they are going to swing him oh, down yeah. until that timer runs out. 12 to 8 and Mech. There's a couple stumbles we've had so far. Two players detected early on on long. They know at this point. <gasps> oh, what? Okay, okay, maybe a little bit of justice with the trades coming back through elsewhere. Because Red Guard is going to be everything. And JD, he might just act as the sacrificial lamb. No, Nats is going to go first. And of course, he wins that duel. I really just can't catch a break on that OG London oh. United side. And they're just a second late less, even catching those players on the way back through. Shane us unaccounted for. The knife won't do much. Clear out Hookah, but. As they sp or lamps rather, but as they speed towards the site, look who's coming up behind them. The timing just near perfect, and the spike. Well, it will, won't even get planted. It is snake bite. It is couldn't well. even like manage the plant out of this. Worse. Yeah. 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 Oh, nice start. Four finish. Thirteen to eight. Mech taking it across the line in convincing fashion, and exactly what we feared, Tom. That defensive heat for that site, but he's locked out by the wall, and they're realizing that now. And well, Tom, we can hear loud and clear those steps moving back towards the attacker side as Mech just set up for these post plants. Alrighty. Mozzie being able to find one. The wall actually used just to allow them to cross back over, but it hasn't worked quite as well as they would have hoped for. Shados playing up above, already being able to drop one. They've also broken back to be able to have at least a little bit of vision on to that position. You've also got all of the after plant utility. They need to be getting some kills and they need to be getting them now. Jumping over the top will be Chronicle and a relatively clean pistol. Really not doubling us down that much. Chronicle, sure, one away from Tour de Force, but they've got to find the kill, the plant and the space. And it's up against these weapons that I just don't think they get that space. The utility is well and truly still online. The rotations have come through. One kill found. No. And that doubles up. JD could win this very easily. I mean, that is just a, a complete 180 on the round. 55 seconds left, and he'll okay. get nothing done. <sighs> Comes close, though. Yeah, and, and that's another thing. It's retake. That snake bite is nasty as well. It forces the back of this close angle, and they have a fragment as well. This is sick. This timer just going to be running down. Feck you. 
picking up the first. Malsi on another. Mech under a lot of pressure. They've got the late flank coming around, but it might be too late. That wall is blocking them off, but they've been taken off of it. The snake bites actually claim the kill just in time, and they had to get over the wall. It's cost them all the rest of the time, and the defuse now, it's close, but it's not close enough. Oh, wow, Mech. In these close angles, so they're able to do it a little bit deeper. Now they've been found by the trap at least. Hype has actually managed to spam out JD, which definitely creates some problems. Normally you're gonna go for this deeper sage oh. wall. The tag though is perfect. Feck you is just caught out. And while now Chronicle just begins to push deeper and deeper in, he's gonna be able to at least take down an extra one and give them a chance for that plant. Wow, they knew Nats was in the corner. They sprayed away, but he managed to jump over those bullets and escape back to B main. That pit, I, I think, is going to go down. They're going to sacrifice it for the Viper post plants. And this is where Redgar needs to stay alive. He's actually managed to slip oh, yeah. by them. But Malsi just about finding that frag. Nats now known to be close in the pit. He's running the clock a little longer, but now dropped, leaving Shados to do it all. He'll find one, but the res in play makes this all the more difficult. They haven't got on the defuse just yet. They were trying to bait him into open combat. None of it came down to it, but eventually... They've also been caught out by the knife this second time around, so a lot more information. Molzy, the pot flash is sublime! He's gonna get both! Really I stepping up again, back-to-back -back rounds. I didn't hit onto Veggie, but he actually TPs out in time, so managing to keep himself alive. Redgar's also been tagged up, but instead the swing comes out from Nat. I don't know if we'll realize how many players are around that corner, though. Left. That's the thing, Molzy might have had the jump. But they've now bought the time, the space, and Nats is coming right back through. Oh. That wall up. Interesting to lock out the control because they've got Spike and getting back in there's next. Well, it was possible. That, that bit of utility on A. They're hesitant. They're wondering, is this actually an A hit with all that pressure down on B? But maybe the oh, <laughs> they've come through with his wall out. I don't know how Becky didn't get traded out. He's 18 HP, but... He'll make it towards the spawn. Either way, Mech have got a four versus three. They've got the spike down. And Malsi again! Man, this man is just playing so aggressively. Oh. Pot flash through! Already finding one, but JD manages to dodge it. That was the difference. Just quick thinking. Decide to switch it up and play aggressive. They most definitely can. We've seen some good rounds out of Malsi. Feck you. Gonna need some big performances. Shados already dropped. That's a great start. The wall doesn't allow them to get a res safely. In fact, the res at all is in question here. I think that Shados' life is forfeit at this point. They're going to have to rock the three versus five. Yeah, they could res him in a different way. Redgar's gone down to that snake bite, and I don't think they're going to be using any sort of res here. A mistake, a misplay, and leaving them in a two versus five. Wall off as well is going to get rid of Nats, and I don't think there's anything JD can do about this. Denying the plan. Impossible! Some crazy shots connected! The man is definitely informed today, but commit the res here. They still believe that there's a good opportunity to win this one from inside the Viper's pit. Oh, they absolutely do have a good chance. Their back is still being covered by JD far away. I think he might be in, under a little bit of pressure. He's here in the steps. He heard them at least, and yeah, he knows that Hype is here. That this, oh, but they've caught him. That's perfect. What a good swing by OG London United. They've checked all their boxes. What? what? And Shados has got three and it's done, surely. He'll even jump up for the fourth. Ah, come on, man. Against Mech, the odds can't even be good. Like that, that's, I, I would say that's more likely than not. <laughs> oh, they're flashing and they're running in. <laughs> well, okay. Boo's actually managed to get a couple though. Shados though. I, I, just over the last couple of rounds, he's been an absolute machine. Left in a bit of an awkward spot. In fact, going to be hit by the Nightfall as well. His position completely given up. He also has the spike. Oh. Even still, though, he's just going to peek out and just dome Destrian. He's been ruined on the other side. Operator rotating in from Feck you. Trying to see if there's anybody close, and there isn't. So that allows at least to get the plant. And now we will have to be all up to Shados to finish this. They have res, though. They have res, so an opportunity for Boo as well to, to pull this even more in their favor. They have to be so careful. They don't know where he could be, and the wall is going to be committed. Absolutely the right call here. Now is to take down three opponents. Surely that's enough. Oglu, look, they're grouped up. They're moving as a unit coagulated on this fight. Shados will pick off one, another, and a 1v1. Boo just about gets it for OG. 
everybody tagged up. And you can see that because mech don't have any deep control, they are very wary of somebody looking to try and come through from behind already, though. Just starting that defusal off. This forces the defenders to try and run forward. They're sticking it all the way. Just holding all the way down. There's nothing that can be done. Mech just saved that wall. Oh, and this is it. Alarm bells are ringing. These players are moving towards B. The trap is going to go off any moment now. But then uh... JD swings on mid. He was going to put the wall down deep, lock off that control, allow them to focus on B main instead. They've got to focus <laughs> on A main, and Chronicle has just evened the odds pretty left. quickly. Yeah, he was, he was being checked for by the horn, but still manages to get Snake the killing out of there. Oh, oh, it's actually man. just owned Boo as well. That's the plant denied. They're going to have to try and reposition, which was definitely not part of the plan for the side of OG. Trying to make things work on the fly. Vecu is completely blind and already Chronicle has been able to draw, but he looks away. Oh, the timing could have been worse for Hive, but Nats is going to close it out. And Mech have always delivered that extra level. Obviously, recently there were some issues. Small C on the way through, and well, that has not gone according to plan. Another Hail Mary play on the way through, and well, not a lot of grace to follow up on that one. Mech just tear it to shreds. And this was the round, Tom. The one we needed to see OG London United step up in. Maybe there's still a chance. He knows where JD is, and he has an idea Chronicle could come behind. Vecu is the right what read. What is JD's angle? What about the execution? What is JD's oh. angle? Oh. Okay, he's made it possible. Noted him. And Vecu has every angle under the sun to try and check. Maybe hearing some of the steps on the other side. He now notes exactly where this last man is going to be. And he's just opting to try and face off on the time. He is the one tag low and he's done it perfectly. Just wrapping all the way back around. He's going to land the final shot. Beck you. His pit instantly down, but they are just running their way straight towards this A site. Blitzing it in. Chronicle really wants to catch a duel on this. Oh, he blinded flash. up and no way out. Taken down OG London United, overrunning the site, and Shados with one kill just doesn't match up. OG have already got a res in play, a four versus two. And JD can try to get a res of his own, but it won't be easy. All of these positions are in the danger zone, and he is going right on into it. I like the slowdown from OG. Knowing that going for a plant, there could be pieces of utility to deny them. There could be surprising positions they haven't expected. They just fall back. They've got plenty of time. Rez is eventually going to... Shade off with a flash ready in his back pocket. Still has the fragment. 20 seconds left on the clock. They're starting to make some noise. And Shade off now pounces, taking his third kill of the round after being brought back from the dead. And it looks like Mech are right back on the scoreboard. Destry and traded immediately to guarantee that... So just trying to get rid of some of those close angles of Mech. But ultimately, this will just come down to if they can win those duels. Initial angle not cleared properly. JD already going to go down for free boo doing damage. Nats has traded one back, but this is coming thick and fast in favor of OG. Nice shot from Feck and one nothing the red car can do in the end. He just goes walking back in. They've already cleared this angle. Whether they check it again, they do, but it doesn't matter. He's still going to be able to find one. A second as well. The multi frag it just always seems to happen, Mitch. Three kills of a sneaky little push. They are turning this what? back. Boo, he's managed to get a couple. Low on HP, but healing back up. Maybe it's not done just yet. Well, they know where hype is. There's no element of surprise here, and these players are isolated. A wall up, but hype is on the wrong side of it. He can't get back safely, so he's got to be so careful about even taking that peek. And a recon's going to confirm. Clear! That timing was so good! That you have to think that was intention. Depends where it lands. Could make things very complicated for Boo, but in fact, he's safe where he is. They've narrowed down the angles, but will they clear it? Not well enough! Oh! Boo! Has saved the day for OG London United! They're up to... Pick up the pace again. Straight off the double ult pop. They knew where JD was. They followed him all the way. Redguard tries to sneak in, but he receives a headshot for his troubles. And another on the way out. A convincing push from OG London United. Shados trying to pull off another BS round. You are revealed in every position. You're half HP, and Renegal actually takes the swing. Operator down. They're actually hunting for this. The finances are so good on the other side. They can afford to just throw some of their players into the wind. Okay, now side. Flash through. It's Chronicle to peek out for just a second. 
Now he's ready yet again. He's avoided that knife, and so it's still online. The Tour de Force picking off the first. Mech holding on to push to OT. Now land another kill on the way through with hype gone. Feck, you falling and boo out of the picture. This round is tied up Ow. in a neat bow for Mech. Shade also with another triple kill. Really nasty surprise. It was the one gray area, man. That trap covering off kitchen. They could be into, but not through it. And now they could be in mid, but not through it. And that's why well, he's going through this defensive side. Like a hot knife through butter, cutting them in two. OG London United. They're, oh, they're getting a free kill. Where was Chronicle going? Walkabouts. Oh my, okay. Two versus two all of a sudden. And the spike still needs to be planted. It's not going to be. Cut down on the way through, leaving Shados in another clutch situation OG London United have now got the res online and another player brought back the odds stacked against this man so if any man was gonna win it it's the one on your screen right now he's not got the timing right Except through not catching anyone it destroyed it in time but feck you still loses his life that was the mid play that has not worked out and the wall's been broken oh mech they're holding strong again and it seems we're destined for another OT. Yeah, unless Mozzie has more miracles, which this time he does not again. It, it Take off anyone that they could if an angle is given, if an overextension is made. That nade is huge. Snake bite oh, on the back of it. Oh. Perfect. Oh dear, they don't expect these aggressive positions though. Shados has already managed to find one. Still a disadvantage, but it doesn't last long. He's been so clean, so clinical and just space that needs to be removed from OG. They don't really have the utility to do it either anymore. A Sage wall ready to almost go for that after plan, but until they kill this man of, it's a problem. But Boo will do just that. Trades there, Chronicle through, and now it's left into the one versus one. The swing oh. isn't expected, but Boo still lands the instant headshot. He has had his troubles trying to get back into those back lines, but this time it is primed and ready. Flash through leaves one blind. Swing looking to come through deep already, and the trades are going their way. As said, Feku's flank has already found one. Chronicle realizes it though, and finally deals with him, but there's so much utility in their way. So much space, so much ground they still have to take, and the spam from Hype is sublime. It takes OG 15 rounds on the board to get that dub, but they have done it. They certainly took their time. We know the defense is where they put up the numbers. The attack here, a little bit of a struggle for them, perhaps, in entering. We'll see. Uh, right now, Feck you, the jet on the other side, is the one to pick up the opening. It's traded out, keeping that for free. Even going to smoke it off just so they have that extra little bit of space. But already, Redgar is watching for it. He's actually going to get away with two. I thought it would be a trade for sure, but that's a way back in now for Mech. And a recon just providing them peace of mind and a little bit of extra information. OG London United have to deal with Red Gar and they Ow. fail to. Ow. Five HP. The man has changed. And he's been owned as well. Quick take already up on towards short. Now, this double up is going to be there. Already knowing that one player had to look away. They are just winning every battle. Taking these 1v1s and making them look easy. One player outside of A. How's he at that dink? Pipes down to just 42. He's trying to heal himself back up. Already, though, molsey has been caught on the other side of the map, and actually, there's still a lurk going through on A. Oh, but they know. They know that Hype is here. He's got Shados and another oh. with Nats on the floor. The spike is dropped, and this round looks res. set to be theirs. A res in for Destrian, and an op still ringing out. Feck you running for his life. JD hot on pursuit. And look, there's 12 seconds. There's three players to take down. There's no time. He can't get a little bit of economy damage done. He oh, that was close. Yeah, you, you can get played by that so easily. I think honestly, that's the kind of thing you got to just play as Fade for so long. Oh dear. Try all those angles. Now we've had the trade. Oh, Hype's isolated. He can't go back with the nade and his teammates are trying to help. Oh, that was a disaster. Malsi following up though, a quick double and almost some more. But that double was all that. Oh, they've dodged it perfectly as well. Both players on the back of the site now. Ready for this fight to take place. Destrian out of utility, so is Hype. It's just the Vandals. They've cleared one, but there's a second player oh. and a complete mechanical breakdown. Mech are able to left. storm the site. Convinced, <laughs> you know, it was probably the right play, but uh, unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, that's a mid push out of Boo. <laughs> this guy's gotten brave. a little bit stuck in the mud the thing is they're taking risks because the weaponry just really wasn't there and unfortunately the one okay 
Molsey's just been obliterated. A little bit unfortunate, I said. They knew he was there. Fek you, though, starting to really dominate some of these battles into mid. Given an opportunity for a gun to potentially be found, the thing is, though, they're almost man-marking them, just sat back, making sure that nobody is going to get anywhere near them. I like this push coming through from Hype, though. The problem is he's got the worst gun for this. Nats out wide, that spacing just perfect here. He spotted them. Now Fekyu's ready. Oh, but he's not finding the opening. A few missed shots, a great flash, and now the pressure's on. They're absolutely everywhere. And only one not good enough. And Hype's just been spotted. The timing, so poor. Oh, if he was half a second ahead, this could have been massive. Instead, a tough clutch. He's got to try and clear this angle. You know the swing's coming oh. through, but he gets both. Clutch is coming from Sage. Fights. No clutch, this is what it all comes down to. It's been well planned, but now the execution in play. Boo already down. Malsi not doing too much better. That spam connects perfectly. The spike is on its way to the site already being planted. Cosmic divide to buy them the space. Okay, plant is in. The retake for OG London United. Let's take stock of what they've got. You know, the utility to get them in there, not looking great. One slow, and that's already been thrown out. Now we need a hero to step up. Coming in with an Odin, already making some noise. JD taken down. A nice shot to start off for Hype. An operator ringing out here for Nats. He's almost faking that there's two players there, but the other one is down below. Shados for the first. The drop coming in. He's on the swing, but oh. runs out of ammo. And the Odin saves the day. Been gone that they are pushing this way. Odin holding on to the wall now in trouble on the way back. Revealed up. Malsi taking damage through the wall. He'll go down. The Odin's now alone on the back of the site. Going to grab one, some damage. That's all it amounts to. Great switch up this round by OG London United. Sage towards A, the wall went down there and Mech tried to bait that wall out in B main, but they couldn't find it. On account of it being on the other side of the map still, despite not finding that early success with Chronicle risking that B main oh, walk, they they've ended up in a 4v3 nightfall in the back pocket. And this is gonna be tough for OG London United to find anything in. Yeah, the, the second they even try and get anywhere near, they're just gonna be connected, pop flash thrown out as well but i think it actually caught it the player close the reveal even better and while the teammates coming is a lot barely anything burnt yeah. early in this round the only problem is i think most of it's going to have to be utilized in a retake and for boo there's almost a part of just staying alive Three like you left. had that four versus five night four going to be used this will give away nat's position but even still he manages to come out with a couple i've just been slaughtered and move over We'll have some market contestion coming through from Mech. And right away, one kill, but it's traded. They're keeping themselves ahead on this attack side. What is utility being used? The peek out from Red Guard doesn't really garner anything. That's the fact that JD was the only one, I think, who had much, if any, util. The other one would have been Shade. Oh, so he can't find the shots. It's left all onto Red Guard, still stuck and marked. This will be an after plant, even a heal. And a one versus two. This should be their first pistol. Surely it has to be, but with 27 HP, one bullet, all that's needed. Hypes walk. Oh, coming in with the sheriff. They know where he is. They have the info. The reveal about to be online. The first shot whizzing past him, not going to land. Reveal goes up. No one peeking. No one overextending. And they'll swing together, hopefully. The shot not land. Just no presence on A following up, so they're ready for this hit. Still, yet to find the opening pick. Some damage done, and it's Chronicle that's super low from that early fight. Now under pressure, able to deliver a headshot before going down, and they haven't spotted JD yet. Now that info is there, but it might be too late. Uh, Hold on! The kills are going their way! Oh, Estrian still in with a chance! Hype behind, we'll close it. They've gotten it across the line. He delayed long eight enough. Eight HP. Eight. Up top, you can go up and above the smokes. None coming in, though. As we see Mech having already lost Nats. Trying to spray through this wall. A, a desperate attempt to do some damage. Shade Oss is oh, in for no. two. Of course he is. He's got, he's got his no command as well. Utility going to be taken away. That Nightfall was something that was being held to be utilized into this late round. Now Destrian has to be that little bit more aggressive. They need Shados to go, and instead he's just still swinging. The trades, sublime, the shot connector from Chronicle. Right away, Nightfall on the way. And a cosmic divide counter. Hold on, who attempted to try and make a flank, but he has been destroyed. 
door closed. After plant, possible, but they have to go through. And then that's the problem. They don't have anything to get them through it. Nats even just swinging at the end is going to close. See, this strikes me as something that Mech were almost ready for. They have a Haunt and a Recon on the way back through. They'll have oh a drone no. as well. They have an Odin to spam in the back site, mode house and through the wall. And they played full retake. They had their trap close main that was detected a little bit earlier on. This is a team that wants to fight back into the site. The drone's already out and tagging up one. Now it's time to follow up. They're already revealing up nobody towards B main, at least no one too close. They can speed up to the site. Take, there's the Odin down already. A good spin by Destrian, but a little more needed. And Hype, oh, he seems to know that he'll be held. The read is correct. Chronicles on the way to site, tapping the defuse, and Hype will just spam it down. 47, 9 HP, and the final bullet will find its way to Chronicle. 12 to 8, OG London United hack. Already having three players here behind the Cosmic Divide. This worked for them so well before. Oh. A knife to the head of Redgar starts things off. Nats could be in trouble as well. He's going to catch Boo and spin for more. Oh, Nats for three. And it's done and dusted. 13 to eight. Mech have just decimated OG London United. These last couple of rounds, though, certainly delivered from an entertainment perspective. Tom, what a series yeah. this was. No, and I think the 